Residents in the North Haven area had the unique opportunity today to hear from a very special guest. Anita Shore, one of the youngest living survivors of the Holocaust, shared her stories with students and teachers on Wednesday at the North Haven Quinnipiac University campus. Anita talked about her experiences in the many concentration camps she was in, including Terezin and Auschwitz, and preached one powerful message. One person can make Anita began her story by explaining the decisions she and her family had to make of packing each a single bag of supplies when they were forced to leave their homes. The necessities she and her family brought with them was taken immediately upon arriving and never to be seen again. She was only 10 years old. Anita's childhood was based on a will to survive. She compared what we go through from grade school to college, finding a job and starting a family to what she went through. Surviving the Nazis torment and dehumanization of the prisoners while clinging to the mere hope of survival as a lifeline. Anita has been sharing her story to the public for the past few years and published a new book explaining her stories as a child surviving the Holocaust in 2013. Marsha Barrett, a teacher at Thomas Edison Middle School in Meriden, Connecticut, found Anita's speech to be an eye-opening experience and she looked forward to telling her students about Anita's survival. I'm telling her story to them so they're, they're hearing it, you know, third person but the, the the point is that it it is still powerful just being able to hear it from her mouth you know even though her students were not in attendance for the speech Marsha identified the message that needed to be ingrained into the young people of our world they still need hope and perseverance in order to continue through the life that they have and to grow to be adults who will hopefully one day change the world that they are being given. Anita again will tell her story November 17th in White Plains, New York. This is Paladafte, Quinnipiac News.